This time we must go in a very special direction, said Mr. Fox, pointing sideways and downward. So he and his four children started to dig once again. The work went much more slowly now, yet they kept at it with great courage, and little by little the tunnel began to grow. For a long, long time they kept on digging. For how long they didn't know, because there were no days and no nights down there in the murky tunnel. But at last, Mr. Fox gave the order to stop. I think, he said, we had better take a peep upstairs now and see where we are. I know where I want to be, but I can't possibly be sure we are anywhere near it. For Mr. Fox reached it up to examine this hard thing. It's wood, he whispered, wooden blankets. There were in a huge shed and the whole place was teeming with chickens. There were white chickens and brown chickens and black chickens by the thousand. Bogus chicken house number one, cried Mr. Fox. It's actually what I was aiming at. I hit it slap in the middle. First time, isn't that fantastic? One after another, the four small foxes climbed down, grow the hole in the floor, and soon they were all standing once again in the dark tunnel. Chapter 11 A Surprise for Mrs. Fox. The small fox ran back along the tunnel as fast as he could, carrying three plump hands. He was plodding with joy. The small fox said, Mommy, he cried out of breath. Look, Mommy, look, wake up and see what I brought you. Mrs. Fox, Mr. Fox, who was weaker than ever now from the lack of food, opened both eyes and sat up quickly. The sight of food seemed to give new strength to Mr. Fox. A fit as shall be, she said, standing up. Then she said, Oh, hurry up, child, and start plucking those chickens. Chapter 12 Badger for a, for a way down in the tunnel, Mr. Fox and the three remaining small foxes dug fast and straight. All of a sudden, a deep voice above their heads was heard. Who goes there? And the Badger made a hole in the ceiling bigger and dropped it down beside the foxes. Badger started to say, We are all serving to death. Who is we? asked Mr. Fox. And Mr. Fox said, I invite you to share the feast. I invite everyone to share it. You and Molly and Rabbit and Weasel and all your wives and children. There will be plenty to go around. I can assure you. You mean it? cried Badger. You really mean it? Mr. Fox turned to small Badger and said, Tell them they are invited to a fox feast. Then bring them all down here and follow this tunnel back until you find my home. Yes, Mr. Fox, said Small Badger. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. And he scrambled quickly back toward the hole in the rift of tunnel and disappeared.